Good evening, your friends, colleagues, minister, assistant secretary, ambassadors, uh, excellencies, uh, especially recognizing the presence of uh, His Excellency uh, Mr. Jacek Chaputovic, uh, Minister of Foreign Affairs uh, of uh, Poland, and His Excellency Mr. Richard Albright, U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary for State uh, for the Bureau of Population, Refugees and Migration, who will honor us with our presence. Really uh, delighted to uh, have this opportunity to, to join uh, all of you uh, on this occasion. Uh, I would like to uh, warmly welcome all participants to the uh, Warsaw Process Working Group on Humanitarian and Refugee Issues. We are delighted that you uh, were able to join us for what we hope will be a very productive series of discussions on such important, such important topics as access to education, child protection, uh, in the context of the refugee and humanitarian crisis in the Middle East. Uh, before uh, making my uh, own remarks, uh, in that regard, I would like to invite uh, our very distinguished uh, guests and co-hosts, Mr. Chapotovich and uh, Mr. Albrecht, uh, to address you. Let me first of all uh, thank Poland and the United States for inviting Brazil to host this uh, working group, which is a unique opportunity to uh, contribute to this uh, ever-challenging endeavor of helping foster a brighter future for the Middle East, the region for which Brazil cares so much through dialogue and cooperation. Minister Chopotovic, have the floor. Thank you very much, Mr. Albright, for your remarks. Uh, I uh, would like once more to, uh, uh, to reiterate how thankful we are for uh, the presence of uh, all of you uh, in this opportunity uh, here tonight uh, and to uh, bring the, the, the attention and the prestige of your countries to, uh, to these uh, discussions. Uh, I would like to uh, uh, praise and commend very uh, uh, emphatically the, uh, the effort articulated about one year ago uh, at the Warsaw Conference to promote the future of peace and security for the Middle East, which I had the opportunity uh, to attend. Um, it was very uh, early in, in my tenure, very early in the uh, administration in Brazil. And uh, uh, I realized back then uh, how convergent uh, this uh, endeavor was with uh, our attempt here in Brazil to bring uh, new ideas, uh, French perspectives, uh, and decisive action to our international uh, engagements, which are in line with uh, the, the deep transformations that we are trying to bring about uh, in Brazil. We uh, uh, are committed and uh, we think the way ahead is through uh, creative uh, action, uh, both processes, uh, which are at the same time realistic and ambitious as the Warsaw uh, process clearly uh, is. This process is already attracting a lot of attention worldwide. I think it's uh, proving that it has uh, the ability, the capacity to uh, uh, help uh, getting closer to solutions that we didn't think would be possible uh, before. The, uh, uh, we Brazil ensure uh, that we can contribute to, uh, to these debates uh, as you see uh, from the uh, from the remarks by uh, our co-chair, uh, how uh, Brazil, Poland, and the United States, in this case, can bring different perspectives, but totally convergent to uh, these issues, and which uh, will of course be enriched by contributions of uh, all uh, your countries. Uh, I'm pretty sure that after the discussions tomorrow, we'll have uh, maybe new doubts, maybe new uh, uh, maybe new uh, Questions, but certainly new uh, ideas to deal with uh, those pressing issues. The uh, comprehensive approach and cross regional participation in the Warsaw process, process uh, have indeed allowed us uh, to tackle not only the complexity of the new challenges confronting the Middle East, but also the imperative of finding uh, new ways to overcome them. So, 
was uh, with this uh, solution-oriented approach, the year Warsaw process has been able to acknowledge the evolving geopolitical reality in the Middle East, uh, to strengthen uh, old partnerships and forge new ones with the uh, common aim of fostering security and enhancing regional cooperation. The Warsaw process, in this sense, is totally compatible with uh, Brazil's vision uh, for what we're sure it can be one day, maybe sooner than we think, uh, more peaceful, secure, and uh, prosperous Middle East. The uh, fulfillment of this vision requires a concerted approach by like-minded countries to fight threats and drivers of instability, old and new. We must take decisive action against the disruptors, be them state or non-state uh, actors. Uh, I'm convinced that we have to uh, address issues as they are, as they present themselves in reality, and not as is uh, sometimes the case, or was sometimes the case in the past, just by reading from manuals of uh, the international politics, or just by uh, repeating uh, the older uh, declarations and, uh, and communiques from, from past moments uh, in history. Uh, the uh, enemies of peace and security do not hesitate to cause turmoil in that region for the sake of hegemonic ambitions or for uh, their uh, aims of uh, promoting violence as a mean towards ideology or ideology as a pretext for violence. We must uh, also work together cooperatively to overcome the main humanitarian refugee issues affecting millions of individuals in Syria, Iraq, and Yemen, which, is, which brings, us, brings us closer to uh, the topic of uh, this working group. Uh, with that, we mention, please, that uh, if, uh, as is the case, the uh, Middle East is the, represents the largest crisis in terms of refugees in the world. Unfortunately, we have close to our border uh, and inside Brazil and our neighboring countries, the second largest already uh, refugee crisis uh, in the history, in history, uh, due to uh, the uh, awful regime still in place in Venezuela. So we here, far away from the Middle East, we uh, are getting a much more, a much closer sense of uh, what uh, this situation is in the, in the Middle East. And uh, we hope, why not, that uh, solutions in one of those areas, since we live in a, a, such an interconnected world, can help uh, with solutions in the other, in South America and in the Middle East. Dear friends, uh, regarding Syria, uh, if I to uh, also make a few specific remarks, this working group uh, is an opportunity to shed light on our common conviction that the only effective manner to address the tragic crisis in Syria is through political means. Brazil continues to support the negotiation process led by UN Special Envoy, Ambassador Pedersen, and hopes uh, that his effort uh, to bridge the uh, gaps between the parties will be matched by a similar commitment by all sides in order to forge a new democratic and prosperous Syria. Education is the backbone of any future process of reconstruction and the pillar of long-term security in the Middle East. There are 1.5 million school-aged Syrian refugee children living in Turkey, Jordan, and Lebanon, but nearly half of them do not have access to formal education. Most countries have taken general steps to increase enrollment, for example, by offering free public education to these children, which is commendable, of course. However, barriers such as uh, child labor, enrollment requirements, language difficulties, and a lack of affordable transportation are keeping children out of the classroom in some of these countries. In 2019, nearly 2.1 million children were out of school and further 1.3 million were at risk of dropping out in Syria. We recall that Brazil has received uh, more than 3,000 Syrian refugees since the beginning of the conflict. We continue to offer humanitarian visits to those affected by the war so that we can find protection in our country. As refugees in Brazil, individuals affected by conflict in Syria have access 
to all public services, including public education. Nonetheless, to ensure educational assistance of quality in situations of vulnerability remains a challenge. We count on different public institutions, international partners, and civil society to help us improve the lives of refugees in our country. Uh, on Yemen, due to, due to the protected conflict, there are more than 3.3 million internally displaced persons in the country. In 2020, the conflict in Yemen will complete its sixth year. Throughout this period, its humanitarian consequences have escalated unceasingly, bringing us to what amounts to one of the worst humanitarian crises in the world. More than 24 million people in Yemen are in need of immediate humanitarian assistance, comprising roughly 80% of the country's population. After years of uh, military deadlock, important breakthroughs occurred in the talks held in Stockholm, but the implementation of the terms agreed upon has been marred by renewed skirmishes between the warring armies. In an effort to contribute to the uh, cessation of hostilities, Brazil agreed to deploy personnel to take part in the UN detachment constituted by the Security Council charged with monitoring the situation. The regard, with regard to Iraq, Brazil is following with great concern the worrying developments in the country. Further escalation is to avoid at all costs, for it could have potentially devastating consequences, in particularly for the most vulnerable populations in the region. We are particularly concerned by the suspension in granting access, the access letters to humanitarian actors carrying out critical missions in support of Iraq's vulnerable people. In the past three months, aid deliveries throughout Iraq have slowed due to the discontinuation of previously agreed upon access uh, procedures, authorization procedures. Uh, in conclusion, uh, we have worked with uh, our partners from the US and Poland in this working group, and we are committed to keep this as an ongoing process, to bring together countries, international organizations, and civil society uh, with much knowledge uh, and experience on the humanitarian challenges in the Middle East. The emphasis on education and child protection is particularly important. It allows us to face today's most pressing humanitarian needs and the situation of most vulnerable groups, focusing on the reconstruction and peace building uh, tasks of the future. It connects, it connects the urgency of present needs with a longer term perspective on the fundamental human dimension implicated in bringing about sustainable peace. During the course of our discussions, we will be able to uh, uh, ponder on the challenges faced by our own region. As I mentioned, the uh, policies uh, uh, of the regime uh, in place in Venezuela have caused almost already 5 billion Venezuelans to leave their homeland. And in the near future, we in Latin America will well be confronted with uh, uh, more than 7 million people, uh, displaced people and more refugees. Uh, which amounts, by the way, to more than 20% of the population of Venezuela. Uh, uh, as you know, this uh, regional crisis has affected Brazil. The government's response uh, was to set up a multi stakeholder government led task force named the uh, Operation Welcome, Operation Perida, which uh, uh, we plan to, to see has become a reference for the in order to ensure assistance, protection, and opportunity to. The Venezuelans who have crossed into our country as refugees, asylum seekers, or migrants. Uh, in the current phase of uh, Operation Alpha, Venezuelans uh, can choose to be part of our internal relocation program. This initiative boosts the uh, prospects of them finding jobs and increases their income by an average of 200%. A recent study has found out that 100% of children of participating households are enrolled. Uh, those are a few of the uh, uh, figures and, and uh, practices that we think can be a part of the Brazilian contribution to the debate here, so that the following uh, uh, figures and data that we just spoke about can be addressed and uh, curbed in the brief. We are confident that 
bringing different perspectives and experiences together will contribute to finding innovative solutions to our collective work. I'm very thankful to all participants who have taken the time to be with us and who will complete our discussion. Uh, we should be confident and uh, we should uh, make this a moment of uh, 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 answering to this old uh, saying that uh, men have uh, together they uh, are bigger than the uh, uh, sum of their parts that our collective work here will uh, certainly uh, make us uh, wiser and more capable of addressing uh, those issues, those pressing issues. Uh, it's great to uh, have the opportunity to host you here and uh, I'd like to invite you to our welcome a cocktail here at the Community Palace. You will have the opportunity to enjoy a performance by the music group Alma Syria, Syrian Soul, which is formed by Syrian nationals who came to Brazil with refugees and have now acquired their Brazilian citizenship. I hope you have a pleasant evening and uh, look forward to seeing you upstairs. Thank you. Very much.